experts found a time capsule buried by Sam Adams that gives an extraordinary glimpse into the past Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more on January 6 2015 an audience of academics journalists and politicians looked on in rapt silence as conservators from Boston's Museum of Fine Arts carefully opened up a heavily corroded metal box it was like brain surgery with history looking down on us Malcolm Rogers the museum's director told CNN so where did this box come from and just why was there so much anticipation surrounding its opening time capsules which typically contain items such as newspapers public records and works of art are intended to help future generations understand the lives of those who created them and while nobody knows exactly when the wider practice began the earliest known time capsules seem to date back to the 19th century remarkably though the 10 pound metal box opened in Boston in 2015 actually predates that period in fact the capsule is the oldest ever uncovered in the United States known as the Samuel Adams and Paul Revere time capsule it's thought to have been deposited away from sight in 1795 20 years after the start of the American War for Independence and eight years before Britain formally recognized US sovereignty in a civic ceremony commemorating the revolution's 20th anniversary the capsule which then consisted of a simple leather pouch was buried inside a cornerstone of a very famous building the Massachusetts State House in Boston's Beacon Hill neighborhood the iconic structure was completed three years later and is today a designated National Historic Landmark instantly recognizable thanks to its gold-colored dome then in 1855 workmen inadvertently retrieved the pouch and passed it on to city authorities the items inside were removed cleaned and deposited in a much sturdier brass alloy box along with several new objects so it was that some 60 years after it had first been hidden the capsule was then ceremonially reburied by governor Winslow Harley and two representatives from a Masonic Lodge the box then remained buried and forgotten about until December 11, 2014 when workers repairing water pipes accidentally uncovered it. Actually removing the capsule was a delicate operation though and one that lasted seven hours. And as Boston Museum of Fine Arts conservator Pam Hatchfield chiseled the box free, she saw that coins had been placed on top of it, probably as a good luck gesture. Perhaps then this was a sign of the treasures hidden inside. At any rate, Hatchfield subsequently opened the box and painstakingly went through its contents at a prestigious event in the museum's American Gallery. Her tools for this delicate task included a porcupine quill and a dental instrument, the latter of which had belonged to her grandfather. And the operation was conducted in absolute silence, punctuated only by occasional sighs of relief, hushed exclamations of wonder, and the snapping of journalist cameras. Among the first objects to be taken out were a collection of coins from the mid-19th century and five newspapers, including editions of the Boston Daily Traveler and the Boston Bee. The newspapers were left folded, however, as it was unclear whether opening the pages would damage them. Meanwhile, the coins, which comprised several different denominations, were in a range of conditions. A collection of much older coins from the 1780s were subsequently discovered too, with one pine tree shilling dating to 1652. The coin in question was minted illegally during the interregnum that followed the reign of King Charles I. This period of English history was, it's worth remembering, marked by deep political instability. It began in 1649 with the execution of King Charles I and ended in 1660 accompanied by the restoration of royal power. For that brief period, England had actually been a republic. Other items in the capsule, meanwhile, included an imprint of the seal of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the official state emblem assumed by the legislature in 1775, and a copy of colonial records dating to the 17th century. And also recovered was a copper medal of George Washington, proclaiming him President of the United States and General of the American Armies. The most impressive item, though, was an intricately engraved silver plate bearing the names of the capsule's creators, Samuel Adams, Paul Revere, and William Scale. It's likely that the plate was in fact engraved by Paul Revere himself, as he was an accomplished silversmith. And if so, the plate is extremely valuable, and not just in the monetary sense. Born in Boston and educated at Harvard, Samuel Adams was among the founding fathers of the United States. And 
influential philosopher and political revolutionary, Adams was instrumental in engineering American republicanism. He contributed to the Declaration of Independence and the Massachusetts Constitution, among other vital legislative frameworks. But while Adams is generally regarded as a national hero, he's also been criticized as a former propagandist and instigator of populist violence. Indeed, separating historical fact from popular myth is a complex scholarly process that rarely results in universal agreement. What is indisputable, though, is that Adams contributed greatly to the establishment of sovereignty in the United States. Boston-born Paul Revere, meanwhile, was a silversmith and an industrialist best known for his role as a militia officer in the American Revolution. He contributed to the development of intelligence systems that alerted insurgents to British military activists. Yet Revere is most remembered for his so-called Midnight Ride. This famed ride occurred during the evening of April 18, 1775, after Revere had received word that British troops were heading to Lexington and Concord with the intention of arresting Adams and other insurgent leaders. Revere rode through the night to alert the rebel militias, who then organized and successfully fought off the British. His feat was later memorialized in verse in a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The third creator of the time capsule, William Scale, is less well known than Adams and Revere. With ancestral roots in the remote Orkney Islands of Scotland, Scale was a Boston-born real estate developer and a deputy grandmaster in the Masonic Lodge of Massachusetts. Revere was also a deputy, while Adams was a grandmaster. And Scale's contribution to the revolution included serving as a colonel in the Boston militia. These three men then each earned a place in the history books. But the time capsule in which their names were found is important in its own right, too. This is more than simply looking at some historical artifacts, trinkets, or curiosities, commented William Galvin, Massachusetts Secretary of the Commonwealth, to The Guardian. These symbols, when they were placed in the State House in 1795, represented the aspirations of the Founding Fathers and those who came after. The history of Massachusetts is the history of America. If you'd like to explore this history for yourself, the items are currently on display in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts underneath the Passage of Delaware, a dramatic 1819 painting by Thomas Sully. At some stage, though, the objects will be placed inside a new time capsule and reburied in their original place. So will the city add extra items before it's reburied? The governor has wisely suggested that we might, Galvin told CNN, so we'll think about it. Indeed, in 2015, another Boston time capsule dating to 1901 was returned to its place with the addition of several letters and an iPhone 5, just one symbol of the technological interconnectedness of early 21st century society. But just what future generations will make of it remains a question for another time.